Hey, kitty, kitty. Whiskers, you wanna do Halloween stuff? No? Okay. Hi guys, it's Crystal, and even though Whiskers doesn't want to do Halloween stuff, I do! And I don't care that it's still September. So we're going to do this cute spider web mini. I'll have a better name when I post this. I know I say that every time and I use the same name, but uh, yeah, it works. To start off, I'm going with my favorite base coat from Glisten and Glow. This is a sticky base coat, and as I mentioned in my last tutorial, I recently found out that it's green because that's a color correcting color. It doesn't look green when you put it on your nails though. It literally just looks clear. I don't know, maybe I'm just nuts and yeah. But it looks clear on the brush too, so eh. For my base color, I used Atomic Sherbert, Sherbet, Sherbet. It's not Sherbert, but I keep wanting to put an R in it. It's Atomic Sherbet, I think is how you say it. I always just call things Sherbert. This is a really gorgeous orange linear holographic with a hint of a gold shimmer. It's actually one of three oranges I own. The problem with the other two is one of them's not available anymore and I don't like using polishes that aren't available in tutorials a lot. And the other one's not released yet. <laughs> so I was kind of like, I only have one hollow orange I can actually use. And this is it. So this is what we're using. I put down two coats of this. Once that was all good and dry, I went in with my Control Alt Delete Latex Barrier. This is also from Glisten and Glow. If you've watched any other tutorials in the past, I'd say two months, you've seen me go on and on about this. I love it. It comes off super easy and it smells nice. Which I don't know about you, but like, I kind of like nice smelling things. I don't like products with really strong scents. I guess that's kind of weird for a nail polish addict, but hey. For the stamping, I'm using the A012 Happy Halloween Plate from What's Up Nails. This released last year, but I love it. I really use the spider web, the big spider, and the baby here. The baby's so cute. But this has so many adorable designs. If you look at this, there's little pumpkins and skulls and a scarecrow. You could use this for fall nails, tons of Halloween things. I'm probably going to use this more. To stamp, I'm using my Extra Large Stamper from Twinkle Tea, as well as my Vibin Stamping Polish, also from Twinkle Tea. These are kind of my go-tos lately. Starting off, I'm going to do the spider web first. The spider web, as you saw at the beginning, is just going down in black, but the other images will be done in black and white. So for the other images, I'll show you how I put the black version down, and then I'll show you how I put the white version down. But I'm going to cut out some steps on the white part because you'll have already seen them. Now to do this, I start off with the center of the spider web on my middle finger. And for some reason, I never filmed my thumb. But if you see here, I kind of went out and I moved the edges of the spider web on each nail to kind of make it look like it actually extended over all the fingers. Once again, though, I for some reason didn't film my thumb. I did all the nail art on my thumb. I just didn't film it. After that, I pulled off my latex barrier. I went in and I did a little off-camera cleanup with my number two cleanup brush from Twinkle Tea. I've been doing my cleanup off-camera because I'm still not good enough to do it on camera and not take forever, which left me with this gorgeousness. Then I went back to my stamping plate with my stamping polish and I got my big spider. This is where things get a little tricky. When you pull up this spider, you're going to end up with a bunch of other stuff. I usually take this off with just regular desk tape. The thing is, I'm doing it really slow here to demonstrate, but when you're doing this and removing this with desk tape in real life, you're either going to need to do it quickly or sponge on some base coat after you put this down make sure you don't lose any of that image. Because as the stamping polish dries, it's not going to want to stamp on the nail anymore. But I don't want to like do it really quickly like I would putting it on my nail because I don't want people to think like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I mean, they're, they're hacks. Once I did that with my Vibin, I went in with my Glow Up, which is the white stamping polish from Twinkle Tea. 
And I did this to make the spiders pop a little more. I wanted them to really stand out. I thought about using red, but I tested it on a swatch stick and I didn't like it. So I went with white. As I'm doing this, I'm just barely moving the image and I'm putting the white just slightly down into the right of the black one, which is really hard on this center part of the web because it's hard to see, but it works. Next, I'm using the baby spider. As you saw at the beginning, I put the baby spider on all the other nails in different spots. I struggle bust a little here though with my scraping. I wasn't doing a really good job. I probably shouldn't be attempting to teach people things. I went in once again here with my tape, removed it from around the baby spider. As you'll notice, these little baby spiders have dots in them. For the black part of the spider, that doesn't matter because you're putting the white over it, you're not gonna need to fill it in with this black spider. But here, I'm showing you where I put it on my index finger stuck it right there. I put these in different spots. You could do them symmetrical. You could do them like in the same spot in a row. Doesn't matter. Just do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever you're really loving at the moment. I just want them random. Here though, as I said, the dot in the middle of it, the little cross thing that makes it a black widow spider, didn't matter for the black, but it does for the white. Cause you can see it here with the white part. To cover this up, I took a dotting tool from one of my Twinkle Tea brush sets, this one right here, I'll link the brush set in the description box. And I took just a little bit of my Vibin stamping polish and stuck it over the little part where the little mark that made it a Black Widow spider was. And then you've got beautiful spiders. But I didn't stop at just beautiful spiders. <laughs> I decided I was gonna make more of a mess. So I put down some more Control Alt Delete Latex Barrier you know, because it's my mess maker. I then ripped the end off of a sponge. This is just a generic makeup sponge you could buy at Walmart. They're actually like three bucks for a pack of 50 at Walmart, so definitely hit that up. And then I went in with my little black dress from Glisten and Glow to create that kind of grungy faded edge thing that you saw in the preview. To do this, I just stuck the little black dress on a piece of paper and I dry sponged it. Now I'm going to kind of show you this here. You dab it in there and then as you put it down the first times, it's very thick. You don't get that sponginess. This is what you want. This sponginess here that I just did. So you'll dab it in, put one, two, and then on the third one is when you really want to sponge it. So do three and then go to the nails. And here I sponged it all around the edges. I really didn't want it too dark towards the center. I didn't want it really, really covering. I just wanted it kind of just to border it and look really cute. I'm probably going to use the same sponging technique on other looks because I have a couple other ideas I want to use it with. By the end of October, you're going to be so tired of seeing this that I'm probably going to get comments like, stop doing that. This is generic. You've done this a million times. But I like the effect it has and it's really pretty. As you can see here, I used a bigger piece of sponge to actually do this with than in my demonstration on paper. I really didn't think it through when I was demonstrating it. Repeat this on all the nails until all your little baby spiders are covered too. I did go a little darker at the top on that middle one, but it's so cute. I think spiders are cute. I know a lot of people hate them, but I don't. Then you're gonna take your latex barrier off, do a little more off camera cleanup, and then go in with your top coat. I'm using my favorite quick dry top coat from Glisten and Glow. It's gorgeous and it dries in like 10 minutes. I can put this on and go to bed and I don't end up with wrinkles or like my sheets stuck to my hands. <laughs> That's why it's a go-to. Cover everything up completely and wrap the tip. And then you've got gorgeous mama spider and her little baby spiders. And they're so beautiful. I will link everything used in the description box. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with my Halloween, even though it's not October yet. And as usual, if you like this, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff. And I got swatches and polish con coming up. And I'll see you guys next time.